Hey guys, um, right now it's kind of in transition of being Thursday, so we're close enough. Right now I'm watching Man Vs. Food, and he's doing a live event, so I normally don't watch stuff live, but I really have to see this, because he's supposed to be eating a 42 ounce steak in 20 minutes. I don't think he can do it because it was really hard for him to do the whatever that one challenge I forget what challenge it was but it dealt with like a ton of meat and sides <laughs> I can't remember the challenge's name but I'm just I'm watching it right now see you can see him on the on the TV it's on mute as you can tell but um Holy fuck! Did I say 42 ounces? He just told. He just said that it was a freaking 48 ounce steak. I don't think he'll do it. I don't think he will. That's my prediction, and I will um come back and let you know. So, man versus food is now starting for the challenge. I don't think he's gonna do it. I don't think he is. And I hope he succeeds, but I'm pretty sure he won't. Because it's a 20 minute time limit. Ain't gonna work. We'll find out. Oh my god, he beat the challenge 48 ounces in 15 minutes. Holy fuck. Okay, it is part two of the vlog. This is actually Thursday now. I just got back from campus. That's so weird saying campus. Yeah, I just got back from campus, you know. You know? No, you don't. Okay. Anyway. Okay, so Will asked the lovely question, since he started the week, he asked the question of, what is your fondest childhood memory? <laughs> okay, my earliest, my earliest childhood memory was when I was about two, and it was going to be the first trip to Disney World. And I was so excited, I ran, like, the day, you know, the day of, like, when you're all set and ready to go, I ran as fast as I could outside, and what happens, I trip and fall, hit this part of my nose, now I have a scar. You can't see it, but there's a scar, like, that goes, I think, right here. But I hit my nose smack on that. That's not the second time I've hit my nose, though. I've also hit my nose, um... I had mono when I was like five, so I had to get tutored. And I was outside riding my bike, <laughs> and we have like, there's a part of the sidewalk that goes down. So I was riding my bike, and my tutor drives past me because she was about to pull into the driveway, so I was like, ah, hi, and I was waving. And then all of a sudden, my bike topples forward, and I fly over the handlebars and hit my nose again on the concrete. <laughs> concrete and I just aren't friends. <laughs> But my fondest childhood memory was third grade, was in elementary school, third grade. I had a crush on this guy. So we'll call him Guy since, you know, that can be a guy's name, <laughs> this guy. So I liked Guy a lot. And there was going to be a play and he was going to be the main, the main lead. <laughs> and I know some, I know a couple of you guys have already heard this, but I, <laughs> I tried out. Like, I did my very best because, like, I wanted that freaking part because the the other main character was going to be me, and, which I did get the part, by the way, but <laughs> I wanted the part because I was going to be his wife or girlfriend in the thing, so that is one of my fondest childhood memories I won't ever forget because it's hilarious. I'll even show you a picture because my parents had dug out a picture and I had laughed so hard at it but um you can't see him but that's that's the guy I liked and ew it's me 
I'd wear a weird color outfit. Funny story, that skirt, I lost that night. <laughs> My mom was not happy because it was hers. But that was so much fun. And I had to, I had to have a British accent. That is my fondest childhood memory. Pretend, I guess, in a play, pretending that we're actually dating or I'm his wife or whatever it was. I forget what it was. My not so ch fondest childhood memory was um, having mono. Because <laughs> I had mono when I was like five and it fucked up my immune system for the rest of my life. But yeah. Um, there's nothing too much to talk about. Work kind of sucks because they're really cutting my hours. Like, when I say cutting, I mean they're butchering it with a gigantic knife and go, You don't get hours! Because we're so slow. But, at least I have a job, at least. So, that's good, I guess. Now it's awkward silence time!